Hey Stephen, welcome back to part two. I um, just wanted to finish up some thoughts on the on the Kirkasi, or or uh, give you my thoughts on the Kirkasi. Um, so for this one right here, um, what you want to practice first is uh, first your A major scale, uh, one octave. Um, that's kind of the key of the piece. So for that one, you have this scale right here. I, I believe we've gone over that before uh, a couple times. So. So make sure to practice that scale um, because a lot of the notes are, are found in that scale around the piece. Um, so the first thing is work on the scale, uh, A major, one octave. Uh, next is to um, is to isolate the slur that's in um, in measure eight. So if you see there, you have a let's put up here. There you have an A or uh, I'm sorry, a, a G sharp to A. Um, so in that measure right there, you have. A, uh, you have A, G sharp, oh, so you have A, G sharp, and then uh, uh, upward slur, so a hammer on. So making sure when you do that, consistently land on the tip of the finger, on the tip of that second finger, and listening for that clicking sound. So you have A, G sharp, and then hammer the A. A, G sharp, hammer the A from the G sharp. So that's one thing I want you to work on right there for the andante is that, that slur, or the upward slur. Uh, next is, um, I always have to say this several times with this piece, uh, work out the right hand fingering for the, for the B section, for measure eight to the end, um, because there's some kind of tricky, tricky spots there with the A finger. So you have, so you have M, I, M, I, A, so, out all the right hand fingerings for for that section right there um making sure that you use the a finger for that uh for that high uh for the high e um so work it out what i want you to do for next time is i'd actually like to see you play uh, measure eight to the end uh or i'm sorry a measure uh eight to 13 uh, eight to 12 complete 12. um i want to see you play that uh that uh that section right there with just the right hand um, because, like I said, that's the spot that usually when someone um, makes a mistake, it's usually a right hand issue. Um, usually it's like someone realizes the last second they need to use the A finger and then throw the hand down this way. So you'll definitely want to use, um, definitely you want to write out the right hand fingering and then also play that right hand, hand fingering by itself on with the open strings. Um, tap it out if you need to. So cool. Uh, start work on the Andante. Um, and like I said, go ahead and send me over a video of you playing through uh, this piece or something else that way I kind of give you some, some good feedback on it. Um, cool, man. Uh, so keep on working on that stuff and I will see you um, in a video next time and then in person in May. All right, take care. Bye.